Hi, this is Info Puppet, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to change hair color in Photoshop Elements. Photoshop elements open and first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this image that we're gonna be working on today Very nice looking girl with uh, beautiful hair and this is the hair we're gonna work on and we're gonna change the color And we'll show you how easy it is So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go down to the layers panel So let's go down to the layers panel and unlock the layer click on the lock and the new layer window open up I'll select ok now I'm gonna right click and select duplicate layer and then we'll select OK again and there's my duplicate layer so now let's click on the duplicate layer because that's what we're going to be working on right now um, I just turned off the main layer so we can see what's going on with the duplicate layer okay I clicked on the eyeball so we're going to enhance adjust color and adjust U saturation and the U saturation window opens up and all we're going to really do for right now is turn up the lightness Okay, and let's select OK, and there it is with the lightness selected. We're going to go ahead and click the eyeball again so we can see our main image, the layer that's on top, and we'll select it. Because now we need to create a layer mask, so I click on the Add Layer Mask button, and boom, there's the layer mask, the white triangle. Okay, you want to make sure that's selected and not your image. Okay, there you go. So, let's go ahead and go to the toolbar now, and we're going to select the Brush Tool. And I want to make sure you have a soft brush. So these are the soft brushes here. And the hard brushes have the sharp edges. Soft brushes have the fuzzy edges, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and change the size to, let's say, um, 33. That's good. And my opacity is at a 100%. And now this is time lapse. And we're just drawing on the hair. And that's all you're going to really do is draw on the hair. And so what I'm really doing is I'm erasing um, the the front the first image and we're looking through to the second image that has the light color okay or the second layer so and all by the way you want to make sure that the color black is selected in your color swatch on the in the foreground and white is in the background okay and then you can decrease your brush sizes to get some of the smaller hairs you know and make it a lot smaller if you want to if you want to keep some of the natural color then turn up the transparency all right so now we're going to go to the thumbnail layer and we're going to delete the layer and boom and so you can see what we've done we've kind of just erased hair and now we're going to select uh, save as and this is called woman 2 and now we're going to call it woman 2 transparent and then I'll select save and now we're going to go ahead and open up our original image which was just called woman 2 and there it is and now I'm going to um, select the move tool right there boom and left click hold and drag the original image onto transparent image now I want to get this new image behind the first image so I just left click hold and drag it down okay now it's behind it now I'm gonna uh, click on the eyeball so I can just see the original image and now I'm gonna now you see what happens it's not lined up so uh, what you can do to align it up real easy is just turn your magnification down to less than 100% and it'll be real easy for you to snap it in place okay so let's turn on the eyeball again so we can see our first layer. Now if we turn off our second layer, okay, we see what's going on. Alright, now we're going to go to Enhance, Adjust Color, and Adjust Use Saturation. And you got to click on Colorize or none of the colors are going to line up. And you can already see there's a yellow-green tint. To her hair and as I change this you see what's going on with her hair okay if you didn't click on colorize then none of the colors are going to line up 
the, what your little arrow is pointing to in the U slider. Now, the saturation I just moved is going to give you a deeper, richer color. And again, will give you more variations of the colors you see in the U slider. Okay, there's green and purple and red. It's gorgeous. Now, if you want to get even more variations of the U slider, you can come down and, well, I like that color. Come down to lightness slider and see, you know, if I, if I take some of the brightness out, you're gonna get some darker, richer colors from the same U slider. So you really do have lots of variations in the colors, but you have to work with the saturation slider and the lightness slider, as well as the U slider. But that's how you do it. That's how you change hair color and Photoshop elements. Thank you so much for watching. If you can do me a favor, I'd appreciate it. And up top, and you can click on the subscribe button. Thank you so much from Info Puppet.